Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, which method in Selenium WebDriver can be used to get the text of an element? Let me answer. We can either use get text method, and if this doesn't work, then we have to use get attribute method. Either of these methods we have to use. Okay, let me practically demonstrate how we can use any of these methods to retrieve the text of an web element on the web pages. Okay, so for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and here I'll write the code web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Now, for the mode on the web driver and import it from Selenium library. And similarly, import this Chrome driver also from Selenium web drivers library. Now, maximize the browser window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get here provide the application url so let's take the sample application as uh, this omaya.blogspot.com i'll copy this url here and paste it here that's it it will open the application url now let's retrieve this particular text okay on this web page this particular text is there. I would like to retrieve this particular text and uh, print into the output output of this Eclipse ID. Okay, Eclipse ID output console. I would like to print. How to retrieve this particular text? Then for that, inspect this particular text. And if you can clearly observe the HTML code for this particular text got highlighted here. And if you can see this practice automation here, text is between the starting and ending text. Okay, between the starting and ending paragraph text, we have this particular text. So to retrieve the particular text between these tags, okay? So we have to use which command? We can use get text command, okay? Get text command can only be used to retrieve the text between the tags of any particular element, okay? Any element you take, if there's some text between the tags, to retrieve the text which is there between the starting and ending tags, we can use this get text command. So since this particular text is nothing but the text between the tags, we can simply use the get text command. So let's first uh, locate this element uh, with the help of this, uh, you know, ID locator, copy this ID locator and here write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Then give that ID and say dot, okay, uh, dot get text command you have to use. Okay, I told you, right, get text command. This will retrieve the text between the tags of this particular element and it will return in the form of a string. So string text is equal to now simply print it out to the output console system dot out dot print ln and just print the text, okay text and now quit the browser driver dot which like this now run the script right click run as java application so it should get the text okay text of the element on the page with the help of get text command we are retrieving the text between the tags of the element which is nothing but the text displayed on the page of that element okay let's wait for the browser to launch maximize it will open the application URL and it should retrieve the text that is displayed and print it. You see, you can see it here. Practice automation here is printed here. Okay. So now I'll take one more example. So instead of this particular text, I would like to get the text which is there on this uh, button. What is the text that is there on this button? Okay. Such text. This such text I would like to get. So for that, I have to locate this button, right? First of all, inspect this button. Inspect this button. So how to get that? Uh, button and all let's see so input class title search some title search is there so i'll create an xpath expression for locating this button control f uh, i'll just copy this title or otherwise uh yeah this one class and type both are there so i'll take this uh, class first copy this control f uh, double slash input at the rate class is equal to give that class attribute value and uh, type is equal to submit I have to give at the rate type is equal to submit. Now it's locating this only one element that element is nothing but this button. This is an XPath expression to locate this button. I'll write down. So here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot XPath give the XPath expression of that button and say dot get can i use get text command here in this case can i use get text command 
it's not possible because if you observe this HTML code, there's no text between the starting and ending text. Only one tag is there and the text is not there between the starting and ending text. Then we cannot use get text command here to retrieve the text. Then how to get this particular text on this button? This text on the button is not there between the starting and ending text of this HTML code of the element. So we have to figure out another way that is with the help of get attribute command, okay, or method. So how to use this get attribute method? I'll tell you. So just come here and just find out the attribute name, which has this label of this particular button, text of this particular button. You see capital S search is there, which is part of the value attribute, right? You see, this is lowercase s is there. So this is not the value, uh, this is not the actual text on the button. Okay, but uh, here if you observe value is equal to search, here value attribute for that value of this value attribute is search, which is nothing but the text on this button. So this text is not between the tags, uh, between the input tags, okay? It's not between the HTML tags, rather this text, which we have to retrieve from this button is part of this value attributes value. So in that case, we cannot use get text command. So we have to use get attribute command. And uh, this attribute name, you value is attribute name. Come back here and write down. So I'll do one thing. I'll just say uh, web element. Okay, button, some button I'll say over the mouse on this web element and import this web element from Selenium. Now here I'll write down button dot get attribute. And here button dot get attribute, I have to give value. Okay, put a semicolon here. So whatever the value attributes value is there, that will be retrieved by this get attribute string. Text is equal to now, now print out this text and see what text will be printed. It should print, uh, print nothing but the value attributes value that is a uh, such text should be printed. Okay. The such label text on the button should be retrieved and printed here with this approach. Okay. Now simply say driver dot wait when get text cannot, uh, cannot be used for retrieving the text of a particular element because the text is may not be part of the, uh, may not be between the HTML tags of that element. Then in that case, we have to go with get attribute to get the text. Okay. So this is another way. Now run this code and see whether we are getting the text that is there on the button or not. Okay, it got maximized. And you see the text on the button got retrieved and printed here. Such, such text got retrieved and printed, okay? So this is how we can use any of these commands. Uh, sometimes most of the cases get text may be useful because when the text is with text of the text to be retrieved is between the HTML tags of the element, we can use get text. Otherwise, if the text is part of uh, any attribute value, uh, any attributes value, then we can use get attribute command. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.